It's very difficult to close the open abdominal layer, the fascial layer. So what we want to do was make a tool that can help a surgeon do this. So we made a, a simple plier-like tool, something that you might see in home construction, you might get from Home Depot. So it looks like a plier, so it, it feels like a, a hole puncher. And the way it works is you just place it along one side of the fascia, clamp, put the trigger, go to the other side, and just go keep going back and forth. And what this does is allows uh, the surgeon to place sutures in a way that maximizes the abdominal integrity so you prevent cases of herniation as much as possible given the patient that you have. It also makes sure the wound is very clean. Uh, also, there's no chance of accidental bowel injury. I've been a surgeon approach us saying he has this idea, saying that you feel like the abdominal wall closure process um, is antiquated, it's not modern and it could be improved. Over the following summer, we spent time in the surgery room, um, observing surgery and talking to surgeons, and we decided it was a good problem to tackle. I'm really amazed at how, uh, how much work we've gone through in the past year, and uh, working on this project has given me uh, a real-world um, view onto the engineering process and how everything works and how, how you know, work, you know, going to meetings every week, um, working on the design, working on um, you know, CAD work or working on a project that on a project that would come out like an actual prototype and actually holding what you have accomplished. Well, I came to Hopkins strictly as a pre-med. I didn't exactly know what industry would be like. So as a freshman in this project, it amazed me how far we went. Definitely these competitions such as debut and others where we could present, where we could go and show people what our idea is really have interested me into going into industry definitely. I want to go from uh, bedside to bench to bedside. So basically as a doctor, help and then create the device and then bring it back to them. I think that hands-on sort of physical, I've done this, created this, let me show you what I've done, is extremely rewarding. You always hear like, it takes so much money and that it's so difficult to do that, you know, you have to like be this really experienced guy, like well into your 40s to even try. Um, so like, this is experience really taught me that, you know, you can try even, even as a young professional. Dr. Nguyen, the bariatric surgeon from Bayview Hospital at Johns Hopkins. Um, he's the one who's been working with us the most. Every month we have you know, a sit down with him to discuss our engineering designs and he'd give us feedback. Basically, you know, constantly talking with him to see you know, what will work best in the operating room. Like Basically, how big the jaws need to be once they're closed, how how best a, a tool would, would fit in a surgeon's hand. So he's a little biased, but the way, what he says is this, this tool has the potential to revolutionize the way we perform surgery. I did, first I thought it was just helping one person at a time. And I feel with this device, it helps millions eventually, which is what we hope for.